Well, now I'm here with our in-house film buff, Tom, who's been to see the new Hunger Games film this week. So, Tom, did Mocking Jay leave you hungry for more? Well, it's, let me tell you now, Amber, after watching the fever dream that was Nativity 3, Dude, Where's My Donkey? I could have watched paint dry and I still would have got a more positive review than, than, than <laughs> the Nativity. However, no, this was a brilliant film. Now, Tom, I've heard Jennifer Lawrence shook off some of those controversies she's caught herself up with with these performances. Did J Law steal the show for you? Jennifer Lawrence plays a very vulnerable character in this, and her acting has always been brilliant. You know, she's an Oscar winning actress. And in this, she plays a vulnerable, shattered person who's endured so much, but you genuinely believe that she's been through these experiences. I mean, all the performances are fantastic, they're spot on. Uh, Josh Hutchinson plays Peter, and he is heartbreakingly sympathetic. You watch him on camera, and I'm not going to lie, you're tearing up when you're watching him because he's giving such a powerful performance. But for me, Julie. Julian Moore, who played President Coyne, she was the she was my favourite character. She plays this morally grey leader of a nation that's trying to rebel against the capital, and she's fantastic because all the way through you think, is she a goodie? Is she a baddie? You're never quite sure. And of course, the tribute to the late Philip Seymour Hoffman in the end. Well, yeah, this was Philip Seymour Hoffman's last role. He will, of course, appear in part two. However. It, he was spot on. He really. There's a lot of media in this, and you know we're in the media, and he he plays that focus group esque propagandist. You know, he sat there saying, "Oh, well, she needs darker hair. You know, she needs. We need this. We need that." But there was one moment that I did find bizarre. At the very end of the film, it goes in loving memory of Philip Seymour Hoffman, <laughs> and then the music starts and it just goes, "Hmm," <laughs> and it was like, "What?" And it, people laughed in the audience. That's how strange it was. Well, that all sounds very serene, but I have heard the film features some more violent scenes. Would you say it's suitable for kids? Um, well, the BBC have rated this 12A, which means you can take under 12s if they're accompanied by an adult. But blimey, Charlie, you've seen some horrific stuff in this film. I, I won't go into too much detail, but I'm talking burnt-out skeletons, civilians actively targeted. It isn't, it's a film that isn't afraid to shy away from the horror of war, and it's something that I loved about the film, because so often in cinema, we see this this need to like present war as something glamorous, and it's really not. Well, I see you've got the pin there. Let's let's give it the Hunger Games tribute. <laughs> 